To politics now and the shifting momentum in the 2020 presidential race with the first Democratic debates in the rearview mirror. Elizabeth Warren bringing supporters to their feet today in Chicago. Kamala Harris riding the attention following Thursday night's showdown with former Vice President Joe Biden. But South Bend's Mayor Pete back home again, addressing ongoing tensions there. ABC's Rachel Scott covering it all from Chicago tonight. Tonight, the Democratic candidates for president in an all-out push, trying to seize on momentum from that first debate or put it behind them. Senator Elizabeth Warren bringing her pitch to a black church on the south side of Chicago. This country is in a time of crisis. And bringing the crowd to its feet. Do you think support for Senator Warren is growing in the black community? Listening to some of the people I hear when I walked out, I was surprised to hear it is. She had my books on her. I asked her about one of her signature plans, universal health insurance. Your health care proposal, how much will the average middle class voter pay in taxes? The senator did not give a number. We are paying now. We need to pay in a different way. No one should go bankrupt just because they get sick. Mayor Pete Buttigieg back in South Bend after that contentious town hall. Get the racist off the streets. Stepping off the trail again to confront the tensions in his community after the fatal shooting of a black man by a white police officer. Today, that man, Eric Logan, laid to rest. Well, this is my home, but also these issues can't be separated. Uh, the challenge we face here in South Bend is symptomatic of a national challenge. He's not the only candidate defending his record on race. Joe Biden taking heat from Senator Kamala Harris on his opposition in the 70s to federally order busing to integrate public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Tonight, Biden getting support from an unlikely source, President Trump. I think she was given too much credit for what she did. Wasn't that outstanding? And I think probably he was hit harder than he should have been hit. Rachel Scott has been tracking it all from Chicago. And Rachel, you're learning Senator Harris is trying to capitalize on her debate performance. Exactly, Whit. Senator Harris is cashing in on the momentum. Her campaign says they raised $2 million in the first 24 hours following those debates. The question now is whether that extra money turns into lasting support. Whit? Rachel Scott in Chicago, thanks so much. And this programming note, be sure to tune in tomorrow morning to This Week when George goes one-on-one -on -one with candidates Julian Castro and Senator Bernie Sanders. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.